morning, everyone. Happy Labor Day. What a wonderful, wonderful day. Who, who imagined that we were going to get summer in September? But I, if you're like me, we're going to take it. Let me begin by, first of all, acknowledging all of these young people down front who came on their bikes and their, and their skateboards the whole length of the parade. They just did an amazing job. Well done, everyone. fun walking through, you know, we had the, the Elks Royal Purple leading us off, the, the cadet band was behind us, so Ray Hunter and, and, uh, and friends were singing, that wasn't great, I, I'm, I'm glad if you missed some of that. Uh, the Boston Bruins fans making their presence felt, hey, uh, some Montreal Canadiens fan just still putting a finger in, love it. Absolutely love it. So thrilled to meet people like Nish Power, his 70th parade. Isn't that awesome? But it's a great, great pleasure for me to celebrate Labor Day here in beautiful Grand Falls Winter, a community that is strong and resilient and has needed to be in these last years, and whose history has bestowed upon it the phrase the cradle of labor in Newfoundland and Labrador, and you certainly deserve that title. Labor Day, as Kathy has said, provides us all with an opportunity to acknowledge and to thank workers for the vital contributions they make. It provides an opportunity to pay tribute to and celebrate the economic and social achievements that workers have made throughout this province. And too often, we don't ta take the time to acknowledge the good work that gets done in this place and to honor that work. And it's extremely important that as a community we do that. This community, as I've said, has a strong labor presence and lengthy history of celebrating our dedicated and hardworking people. Celebrating the workers and community in Grand Falls Windsor has continued for 91 years. And that fact alone is absolutely amazing and something that you should all be so proud of, and I know that you are. I'm encouraged by the many successes I see in this community as we diversify our economy here in the central part of our province. And we can do it. There's no task, big or small, that when we work together as community and as a government, that we can't overcome. It's a new era of growth for Newfoundland and Labrador. There's new prosperity and new opportunities. And it is wonderful to see the people of this province, and particularly the people of this province, of this region of the province, take hold of those opportunities and make them real for the community and, and create a new beginning and while you're building and, and honoring the old traditions. It is my pleasure. I have a particular uh, fondness for this community. You know, we've had a tough time and during the last eight years, but we walked that walk together. And as long as I'm around, I'll continue that journey with you. Thank you so much for inviting me here today.